Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add overlays in Final Cut Pro. No need to be overwhelmed by the overuse of the word over. Over time, overlays will not feel like overkill. Did I overdo it? Now I'm going to share with you how to use overlays as a guide for arranging your elements in your videos, and then we're going to take a look at importing custom overlays into Final Cut Pro. Let's check that out. All right, we are here in Final Cut Pro, and we're gonna take a look at overlays. So I got a couple shots here, and we're just gonna add a title to one of these so we can see how overlays can help us. So I'm just gonna go up to the browser, make sure we're on titles and generators, go down to titles, build in and out, and I'm gonna drag in a custom title. All right, gonna close this down, go to the inspector. I'm gonna take a moment to customize this title. What's great about this, the, about Final Cut Pro, it's got these uh, these center lines, these lines where you can find right where things are centered, right where things are off to the side. Uh, now, sometimes you have a, a title that might just be a little off kilter. Maybe there's some extra wording down here, but it just doesn't quite fit. Maybe it's a 1987. And you're just trying to find a way to make that fit just right so let's say these lines aren't working out for you. Uh, we can bring in an overlay. So we're gonna go to view and show horizon. Now what this does is basically those two yellow lines that we were seeing, this puts them in there. And we can find our way to put our spacing right between say this line and this line, these little ticks here. Um, or if we wanted to find something to where maybe we want to rotate this title. We can find a spot to where we, okay, say we want to line the, the data up right there. Maybe make the jungle font bigger. And let's fix that line spacing. But yeah, so this, uh, this overlay helps us with just tracking things through the space here. So if we wanted to say have a title in each quadrant, we could find that separation very easily. And then that is not a permanent thing. You can take that horizon level right off there. So for the next example, let's say you've got your title here and you don't want it in the center or anything in the middle. You want it off to the side in this corner. Something you should keep in mind is your output. Where is this video gonna end up? Now, depending on the screen that this video is viewed on, part of this title could get cut off. So there's another overlay that we can take a look at, and that's the show title action safe zones. So what this does here, it's got two boxes. This outside box is called the action safe area. Basically that's 90% of the frame of the image area outside of that frame is typically not shown on TV. So outside all within here, you don't want to put anything important in those areas. So we wanna at least bring this title into here. And then further than that, we have the 80% of the image, this, this uh, center spot, it's called the title safe area. Uh, and this is guaranteed to be visible on any TV. So if we bring that title even further here, as long as we stay within that safe area, pretty much guaranteed that it's gonna be viewable on any TV. So let's say there was something very important at the bottom of the screen that we wanna have shown. What you may wanna do, we'll highlight our clip here. You may want to scale that image and bring this up to make sure that, you know, you're catching the top of this house or, or let, you know, let's say you want less of the sky, more of the city. You can make those adjustments knowing that with this overlay here, you've got this action safe area just to make sure that your audience sees what you want them to see. I guess even videos need a safe space. And I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. So we can actually go back up to view and go to show horizon. And both of these can be shown at the same time. So that gives us even more of an idea of where we want our titles to sit where is the center of the frame um, on the X axis as well as the Y axis. Since we see where the center of the frame is, let's say we want the waterfall to land right in the center of the frame. We can scale it up, slide it over, 
and we know, boom, the waterfall is gonna land right there. But yeah, it just helps us with lining up all sorts of footage, make sure that our titles are in a safe area or our logo. A lot of those things are very important, crucial pieces of information for your audience and you wanna make sure that they can see it. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at another option in the overlay menu and that is choose custom overlay. So we're gonna add a custom overlay. I've got one here that is a YouTube end screen. So what this helps with is just having an idea of where everything is normally going to appear. Like if the YouTube logo is gonna appear, it's gonna be right there. This is the element area, the channel areas, link squares, channel pop-up. Right now, this is kind of uh, overkill. We've got it appearing on the screen and it's, and you can't see through to the background. So what we're gonna do is go down to the opacity to 75. All right, we, we may wanna go a little further down to 50 and we can actually go all the way down to 25% where we just can make out where everything is at. Still see our edit behind there, but when it comes time to see, okay, the play bar area is right here. We may not wanna put that title there. We may wanna have it a little higher. So to turn that overlay right back off, we go up to view, select show custom overlay and boom, it's back off back up to view again and what you'll notice now is that file we just put in there gets added to this list that can grow. So as you find more custom overlays, you can drop them in here and whenever you need them, you bring them right back in. So that YouTube end screen one got added to what can become a list of custom overlays. You can add more custom overlays, have multiple selections here, and you can even choose to reveal them in the finder. That way you can find them, edit them, and then re-add them into this overlay menu. You can also put that classic rule of thirds guide in here. That way you have something that you can line your shots up with. So we looked at overlays which help with centering our titles, making sure they're in a safe area, also framing our shots in a way that makes sure that the most important part of the image is shown on any TV. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Well, I think we got that covered. Now that we've learned how to add overlays in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.